Favre goes straight back in the pocket. Favre looking. Now Favre running to the right. Favre is on the run. Favre is down the sidelines. Favre, touchdown! He dived into the end zone, and the Packers score with 14 seconds to go. Unbelievable. Brent, let's just talk about that touchdown. Is that the biggest hit you've taken this year at the end of that? I'd have to think so. Frankie and uh, Chimura, uh, and I saw Joe was on the pile, too. That, that makes for a big load. Tell me what that was like walking off the field there, because obviously the fans were wanting to get a piece of you there and just be able to touch you as you came down those steps. Well, we really needed the win bad uh, to continue uh, our, our journey into the playoffs. And, and we got a win, and I couldn't have couldn't have wrote a better ending and it was our last game in, in Milwaukee and I know the people wanted a big win a fun win and I think they got it but it was great to come off the field and Co see that coach after the game you talked about how you're the hardest guy you're on right now is Mark Chimura you ride him more than anybody D does he win the title over Brett now I th I thought Brett always had that uh, well Brett, Brett it's a different thing uh, you know he, he and I uh, talk on a more cerebral <laughs> level all the time with Chewy I just chew his Chew him out. You know? uh, the thing is, he is a—he's a great young guy, and uh, and I am hard on our tight ends, whether it's Ed West, Jackie Harris, whoever plays that position for us. Uh, it's an important position, and I and it's very vital to what we do. And there's a lot of subtleties to the position, and so I want it done right, and and uh, I just wanted Mark to know that I love him, and, I, and it's not nothing personal. I'm just gonna make him do it right. Brett, how often do you and the coach not see eye to eye on a weekly basis? Uh, I think people. I think that happens more than it really does. Uh, you know, Mike calls the plays, he installs the plays, and, and that's it. And sometimes I may not agree with the play, and we'll just go over it. And if we don't like it, then, then we'll just throw it out, and it's not really that big of a deal. And then sometimes during the game, uh, he may not like some of the things I do, and sometimes I don't like half the things I do, but uh, we all have to deal with it some sort of way. <laughs> you like most of the things he that does. That makes sense uh, to yeah. you. Yeah, I, I picked right. that up, yeah. Uh, Brett, I know your, your parents come to a lot of the games, and it's been kind of hard. I, people have ridden you harder than any young quarterback that I think has come to the league a long time. How have they dealt with it, and how are you dealing with it now? Well, I think it's part of the quarterback position, uh, so than a lot of guys, I think. But you just keep plugging along. You, you have fun. Uh, it's a tough job, but I try to do my best, and I hope people, people appreciate that. And uh, I'm getting better, but I also know I can play a lot better than that. And, uh, eventually we're going to get a Super Bowl here and then people are going to, they're all going to love yeah. me. Well, you, you've really been gracious about the Pro Bowl thing and uh, acknowledging mm -hmm. how great the other three quarterbacks are, but this is really your finest year and don't you feel you've been a bit uh, robbed just a little bit by what well, happened Well, you, you, know, you can go two different ways. You can say that. I don't believe so because the last two years I've made it uh, and there were other guys who could have easily have made it and they didn't. Uh, so this year I knew I had a great year and everyone else knows uh, what type of year I had, but Warren coming over from Houston, doing the job he did in Minnesota was really a great job, and of course Aikman playing with Dallas, and Steve Young had a remarkable year, so those three guys deserve as well as anyone. Brett, I know you got to watch your P's and Q's constantly. There was one article that uh, Milwaukee Magazine had uh, labeled you the wild one. Have you seen that, Coach? That's a very handsome Yeah, picture. isn't it? It's a nice picture. Is that Brett? <laughs> I guess this is kind Shave. of a reputation you've got to just be very careful about. And is that bother you? You just can't even go out and uh, have a drink with friends without it turning into a whole different story by the night? Well, the I'm sort of, I've sort of uh, accepted it now. And the reputation really comes from, from Atlanta. <coughs> uh, that's probably the reason I was traded here. Uh, but since I've gotten here, I still have fun. But I take my job a lot more seriously. Uh, I have fun with it. But uh, come Sundays and during the week of practice, uh, I'm as serious as anyone in, in the league. Coach, do people write you even when they see Brett sh tying his shoe down in the, a corner? Do you get letters about him all the time? Oh, yeah. Every I, move he makes? Yeah, I really do. But, you know, he, he is exactly, what he said is exactly true. He works harder than anybody. There's no one in the league who works and prepares any harder during the week than he does for a football game on Sunday. And he has, as part of his maturing process, not only as a player, but as a person, uh, by playing the position of quarterback in this league, come, a lot of responsibility comes with that. And uh, I knew this would be a, a takeoff year and a pivotal year for him. And I, I put the heat directly on his shoulders, and he has really responded. And he's going to be the leader of this football team for a long time. Brad, when you go back home to kill Mississippi, do your parents treat you 
any differently, or are you just the same old kid that uh, your father was coaching? Same, same old kid. Uh, I still have to vacuum sometimes after <laughs> cleanup. I haven't, I haven't bought a place yet, so I still live at home, and, and that's been tough. But uh, it's fun to go home and people treat me uh, differently than, than I get treated up here. Uh, back home, I'm just one of the guys and uh, just, a, just a family member. People have asked a lot about that helmet communication system. How does it work with you guys? Do, do you like it, or is it sometime an annoyance? Well, I think it's, it's a good deal. And when you're playing at home, it's really a great deal. When you play on the road, then it becomes a problem because of the crowd noise. Uh, and we've had some problems with it. But really, uh, I think it's, it's going to be, once they iron out all the kinks, it's going to be a great system. Uh, Brett, a lot of people have talked about your relationship with Sterling. and I know some of it came back from the beginning of the year on, on Sterling's one-day holdout. But I, I think people misunderstand that, too. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Well, me and Sterling have a great relationship. Uh, he's a totally different person than I am. But I respect him on the field. He's a great player. Uh, he does a lot for us. Um, and people want to say that we have problems and we don't communicate and all that. But that's not true. And, and as you can tell on the field, we communicate great. Uh, I didn't really agree with some of the things he did at the beginning of the season. Uh, but that's OK, uh, mm -hmm. because everything is resolved now. Well, it's been a great ride, so continued success. Thank Thanks you. a lot. All right, when we come back, the farewell to Milwaukee next on the Mike Holmgren Show. Mike Holmgren Show is brought to you by Clements, easily the best. By Pabst Genuine Draft, cold filtered beer. And by Farmers Insurance for superior service.